Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and welcome to my Weekly Vault slash Veil Strider achievement update video. Um, so, I've only got two vaults this week, but I am going to also, for the next few weeks, keep you guys posted on how my progress towards Back from the Beyond, uh, an achievement that, it's actually a hidden achievement, but uh, it gives you a title called Veil Strider that's pretty cool that I'm working towards. Um, so, let's start by opening our vaults though. I think I have one Mythic Raid spot and two Mythic Plus spots on this character. Don't remember what loot spec I went with. Ooh! Don't mind if I do. This is a pretty nice outcome here. So I'm going to lose some avoidance on my helmet, but I'm going to gain uh, 13 item levels. I'm pretty happy with this trade-off. Getting a 311 helmet. Really nice. Uh, I will have to go catalyze that. Mean in the meantime, I'll tell you about my back from the beyond. Ooh, I also got the, the transmog that I didn't have from this, too. Big value. Uh, so, back from the beyond is this big meta achievement that's here in Shadowlands that uh, currently you... There's, like, one really annoying achievement for it and then a bunch of, like, medium annoying achievements. And I'm making reasonable progress on pretty much everything now. So... There are only two more I need from A to Zareth for this. And here I'm actually really close on both of these on this character. On Cypher's the first ones and the Enlightened. Uh, this is, I need to get Exalted, and you can see I'm 3,000 rep away from that. Once I do this weekly quest, I can get this done next week for sure. And Cypher's the first ones, I just need to go and finish researching all the Cyphers, which I'm also like, I'm like 500 Cyphers away from, which I'll get from just killing the world boss like this week and next week and... Uh, getting a couple other ciphers from other sources. So, from A to Zareth is almost done, which just leaves a very annoying achievement called Shadowlands Dilettante. Now, Shadowlands Dilettante, uh, pursuing loyalty is very easy. So this, you have to do a covenant special feature achievement for each covenant. Pursuing loyalty is very easy, very quick. Uh, you can do this in, like, a day. You just have to get to like a rank three or four Kyrian building. Be Our Guest takes like four or five weeks, and I'm two weeks away from finishing this, I think. Uh, that's the Venthyr Ember Court one, but it's also pretty easy. You just have to invite every possible guest. I'm doing that on my Paladin. Much appreciated. I'm uh, revered with Merasmius on my Druid. So another couple weeks and I'll be exalted, and I'll be done there. That one, you just need to get the travel network for the... Uh, Night Fae. But then things to do when you're dead is the really long grind. This one, I actually have... I have It's a Wrap and Wardrobe Makeover done. I just need Abominable Lives and the gang is all here. And I'm working on that on my Demon Hunter of all of all classes to go Necrolord on. Uh, but then the gang's all here and Abominable Lives take a bunch of time. And there's some RNG there as well. So I hope that those work out and I'm able to get those done in time because... I'm not sure, actually, if I will. That one's it's going to potentially come right down to the wire. need to make sure that I do that every week. Uh, so that's my status right now on Veil Strider. Hopefully next week I'll be done with From A to Zareth. Uh, I might even be done with the Ember Court stuff if I do it before I record my video next week. So it'll be a, a potential case of uh, just starting to... Just waiting on that Necrolord achievement. Yeah, if any of you are considering doing that achievement, I think... I actually don't know if you have time if you start it now. It is that Necrolord achievement that's going to take super long. Things to do when you're dead. Uh, but maybe. Maybe it's still doable. I don't know. It depends on when, when everything comes out. All right. Let's see what we've got on the Hunter. The Hunter has... I don't actually think I did a key on this character last week. I think I was just doing them on my DK. It wasn't a great week last week. Um, but I do have Mythic Raid spots. I am going to loot spec... So I haven't killed Mythic Sylvanas on this character. I don't think you can get the bow out of the thing anyways. But I don't want any survival weapons. So I think I will loot spec, because like a 304 gun or something would I think be a better outcome than another stick of any kind. Alright, let's see what we got here. A belt. I don't think I want to move my legendary off my belt. Another belt. A necklace. <laughs> I already have a good necklace. A chest piece. Oh my god. Well, this is quite bad. All right, let's see where my legendary can go. It, it can also go onto legs. Okay, 
So I could move my legendary to legs. I would lose some item levels on legs. Legs are generally not where you want your legendary this patch because they're such a high stat budget slot. But my legs are only 298. I think I still don't want to do that because I'd also be losing a socket since legendaries are always socketed when they're on belt. Uh, so I don't think that that would be a good play for me. Yeah, I guess there weren't too many upgrades available for me. I was looking for just like some, you know, 311, something like some bracers somewhere. So I guess I'm pretty happy with sockets. Uh, I don't really have anything good to socket yet, though. I, I I want a good helmet and a good and good bracers before I actually socket them. So, I mean, I gotta take the. I guess the the belts would be good for MM or, or BM, but I don't really want to play MM or BM, actually, all that much. So, plus I already have some 288 belts, a uh, 288 leech belt even that I can upgrade. So, yeah. I can use the, um, let's see, can buy a bunch of different stuff. You can actually buy Enlightened Rep with these Tokens of Merit as well, so I could do that on my DK if I, if I wasn't so close already. But you can't buy anything else that's that sweet. Some Flux, I guess some gold. I don't even know how much gold is in this thing. Oh, you can get Ciphers of the first ones as well. Dude, I wish these were bind on account. You know, I just buy these and send them over, but I think I will just buy the Sockets. I don't think I'll use them until I get a 311, or at least 304, helmet and bracers, though. I don't think I want to be spending those on these very temporary items. And I don't have any other socketable slots, right? Sockets already in all my good items. So, uh, there's my vaults for this week. There's a little update on how I'm doing on Veil Strider as well. Hope everybody has good vaults as well. Uh, next week, we're probably... We're, I'm probably just going to be opening vaults on these two characters for the foreseeable future, but I may end up getting some alt keys done at some point, in which case, any week that I do that, of course, this video will be filled with more content, so I'll try, I'll try it, but uh, it's hard to find alt keys sometimes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.